Hey guys, Pogostick29 here, and welcome to episode number 5 of Magic Battle Coding. In this video, we are going to add a bunch of commands. I know it's been a little while since I made a video, but again, I have school and whatever. So expect a few over the weekend, and then school will start again. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to have my pogo ball right down there so I can easily see what commands I have. And for those of you wondering why I have an error, I think pogo I think uh bucket got removed from the build path or something, but don't worry about it. So first let's go ahead and add our uh create arena our create and uh delete commands. Those are pretty important. Alright, sorry, not magic pedal, magic command. And then we are going to do our public create super, and what's magic command? String message, uh, create an arena. String usage is nothing and the aliases will be C that should be good okay then we need our public abstract void on command well uh, sorry it's not abstract public void on command player P string array R so then with our create command, we're going to go ahead and let's see what we did in Pogo Ball. For the most part, we can just, you know, copy some of the stuff from there. Make sure you import all the right stuff. Instance dot. So let's just go ahead and add our get arenas. Okay. And then we need to add the create configuration section. And then we can just copy the save. Create configuration section. What's wrong with that? Did I import? Excuse me for one second. Okay. So, what is wrong? Oh, yes, that's the wrong class. Sorry guys. Alright, so let's see. So we get the newer ID, uh, then we create the configuration section. This we don't need because we have a better implementation of that now. Then we can go ahead and say message manager dot get instance dot message player created arena uh, player whatever and it will be type is it type or message type type dot good now it's message type good and set up arenas all right so now let's go ahead and make our delete command uh, delete an arena uh, we want delete an arena uh, usage is ID and 
the alias will be D. Public void on command player P string array args. All right, so now we can go back here to our delete and import everything correctly. So first we want to say if there are no arg arguments we want to send them and this will be message type dot bad. Uh, then we attempt to get it and if it doesn't work then we send them the message of message type dot bad. So I think we can just go ahead and copy that. Perfect. And then so you know, all the code is pretty self-explanatory. And the last thing, uh, one thing we need to do is we need to go into here. So instead of saying a dot, wrong thing. Instead of saying a dot is started, we need to say, you know, if the state is, um, if the arena state equals started, then it's already started. Then we just set it to null, then we set up the arena. So that should be good for that. Hang on one second. Sorry about that. So now the delete command should be good. Let's go ahead and make the force start and force stop. Then we need to make the reload and set location. So we're we're I think we'll probably finish in this video. So there's our force start public. Excuse me. Public force start uh, super uh, force start in arena ID uh, FS or just F. Public void on command player P. String array args. Uh, I know that this that this video is a little bit more boring than some of the usual ones, but we do need to do this stuff. You know, you can't have a game with no commands in it. So uh, I, if we can get all the commands knocked out today, then we will be done with all the commands, and then we can do more fun stuff like the. Uh, like the wands. So, a lot of this stuff should be the same. Oops. And this one is going to be good. Four started arena number. And then we want to say if a dot get state equals arena state dot started. And then is there a new start menu uh, method in arena? Let's see. Huh. Well, it looks like we will need to do that in another video. All right, so. Let's just go ahead and make the methods public void start and public void stop and we'll actually you know write those write that code later. So other than that we should be good for force start and I'm going to be lazy and copy and paste my force start and I'll call it force stop. And actually, we can't, it needs to be F start or S or start, start or S. And then this needs to be F stop or stop or uh, actually this can't, no, neither of these can be S. Can they? No. Okay, so now in our force stop.
we just need to quickly change. If it's not started, we need to say it is not running. And then a dot stop force stopped arena ID. Good. Now let's see. Create delete force to join leave. Reload and set location. Okay, reload is just a really quick one. Yep, that's it. It's like two lines of code inside of the on enable or the uh, on command. Public reload super. Uh, reload the arenas, uh, nothing, R. Public void on command, player P, string array, args, uh, and then, you know, all we need to do is arena manager dot get instance dot, uh, set up arenas, message, manager dot get instance dot message player message type dot good reloaded uh, arena CA and that's it finally the set location what we're gonna do for this is since there are no teams uh, it's just gonna simply and I spelled that wrong it's simply going to be set location and then the arena number because before in our old set location which I'll open up we had this whole team thing and you know figuring all of that information out so we don't need that but we will need to take a little bit of code from there so it'll just so there's just one location and basically um, as soon as you join you're gonna wanna you know run away so you can like find a good place to hide it. Super uh, set the spawn location. It'll take ID and S, I guess, or S lock or location or lock. Doesn't really matter. All right. Then we will say public void on command player P. Ah. Player P, string array, args. So let's just go ahead and take the code from here, and we'll change a few things. So first off, if the arguments are equal to zero, because all we want them to do is set location number. So if it's equal to zero, then we want to message them as uh, message type dot bed, and you did not specify an arena ID or ID. Then we attempt, you know, we do the standard attempting to get the ID, and if it doesn't work, then we will, let's just quickly fix everything here. And good. So now we don't need this team stuff here. Good. And I'm not sure why we... I don't know why I did it that way. Uh, we can just say arena A. Oh, yes, it's because the arena isn't set up. Okay. So, yes, it does need to be that way. So, we want to create the configuration section at the ID dot spawn. That's it. Oh, I see. This needs to be a config configuration section and then it does okay so we just need to say configuration section cs equals whatever and then return cs good now when we head back we should be good then we just want to set id dot spawn to s, and then we can go ahead and say set spawn for arena 
plus uh, ID. And remove the extra curly brace. And one second, we need to message them as message type dot good. Perfect. And now it looks like that's all for the commands. So I guess uh, we still have a little bit of time. Let's go ahead and add all the commands. CMDs dot add new create. CMDs dot add new delete. CMDs dot add new force start. CMDs dot add new force stop. CMDs dot add new join. CMDs dot add new leave. CMDs dot add new reload. CMDs dot add new set location. Import everything. And there we go. Good. And now let's go ahead and implement the sending the command usage. So if they don't give us any information, we want to say for uh, magic command mc cmds message manager dot get instance dot message player message type dot info and the message will be ah uh, yes the message will be ah uh, slash magic battle or mb mc dot get usage and then actually we need it to be plus and you know I'm gonna go run into the uh, what's it called the command manager here because we had this nice uh, little aliases method right here so I'm gonna just borrow that and fix that a little. Okay, good. So then we will say plus uh, aliases for MC plus uh, space and then dot get usage plus uh, dash and then MC dot get message and that should be good. As far as that. And we don't even need these um, curly braces. We can just go like that. And I believe that's it. Let's just make sure that there is nowhere else that we need to implement the message manager. Um, I don't think that there is. There's an error. We gotta fix our imports. Good. Um, nope. Everything is good. All right. So that is all for this super exciting episode. Actually, no. Let's just quickly set up the commands. Uh, command manager cm equals new command manager get command magic battle dot set executor executor cm but first cm dot setup. So that's, that is all for this video. We uh, finished up the commands. In the next video, I think I'll figure it out. Probably listeners or uh, the magic wands are going to be pretty cool to implement. And uh, we will need to get around to the internals of the arena. So, uh, we'll, you know, we'll figure out. I'll figure that out before the next video, which should be, which should come out this weekend. So as always, subscribe. If you want to see more, comment with what you want to learn. If you liked this video, click the like button, and I will see you guys soon. Goodbye.